Welcome back, my dear labels, to another discussion video. In this one, I'll be talking about Reincarnated as a Sword, Episode 4. I am really enjoying this series. In the last video I made about the series, I said I was going to give the series a placeholder score of a 7 out of 10, which I did give the series that score. And I will say it's, it, it's the same score. Like, that's the same score... Um, I will give the series as well and I'm really enjoying it a lot <laughs> I know a lot of people are like it's your typical isekai it is but it's just so fun seeing a world where the protagonist is like a not a human she's a humanoid beast person and Fran is a really cool protagonist I like her character a lot I like seeing strong female protagonist in anime and she's a strong female protagonist she got the sword her sword teacher and in this episode i really enjoy when she was just going to the dungeon and destroying the goblins walking in the air using teachers fire moves and slicing them with some wind magic as well it was Really awesome to see. Really awesome to see. And I definitely do think you should check out the series if you haven't done so already because it's really cool. And then the previous episode, she was literally in a cave. Well, not in a cave. In the forest, just fighting goblins, goblins, hobgoblins, goblins. Um, and it was so hilarious in the dungeon when the goblins are like, Haha, these humans underestimated us. Uh, they got ambushed. When in reality, Fran was just cutting them like it's nothing. You know what this series reminds me of? Like scenes like this. It, it reminds me of Goblin Slayer, which is a great anime. No matter what anybody says, I really do enjoy that series. And also reminds me of the Berserk manga. You know, slaying monsters and stuff like that. So far, we only seen goblins, friends slay the goblins. We've seen dragons. We've seen other types of monsters. We've seen a giant slime monster that teacher took out uh, by himself before he met Fran and stuff. But just the development of Fran as a character, her becoming stronger, gain, gaining more skills, gaining the title. I think it was like Goblin killer or something like that one of those titles where the weaker goblins were running away from her because she has that title and this series also reminded me of uh what is that series it's not reincar it's not reincarnated as a slime it's a spider so i'm a so i'm a spider so what i really do enjoy that series a lot and i think that's why i'm really enjoying this anime a lot because it, it just has similarities from other isekai anime and good good similarities at that which is really awesome i also like that there's not no big fan service scenes or anything like that which is good it's just a good story simple simple good story with a nice adventure a female protagonist which is awesome because not a lot of series have female protagonists like this not when you think about it right and i also like that you know there's blood and stuff it's not oh i slice somebody nothing happens no you see like bl blood uh gushing and stuff like that and i also like this episode a lot because we got the backstory of how these monsters were born how there was a god of chaos that helped form the world and then there was a god of war and the god of war turned to evil to gain more power the god of war was slain and when the god of war was slain um many of the god of war's body was was spread apart and stuff and created these goblins and these other monsters and that's why they exist in the world the world building uh was established more in episode four as well which i really i, I really like it, it, it was really cool really cool stuff overall and yeah episode four was great i, I think the next time i'll talk about this series is when it ends but i, I feel like this is, I don't know if this, the 7 out of 10 is going to change because for me to give a series an 8 out of 10, it has to really impress me, right? So yeah, great episode. I'll give this episode itself an 8.5 out of 10.